Patty. I thought she was just like right there, but maybe she went back to go do the. Check test. It's not switched yet. Check test. I thought I just heard you. Check. Wait for her. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Check, check. Welcome to tonight's Class 1A Region 4 matchup between the Collins Maxwell Spartans and the North Tama Redhawks. Here are tonight's starting lineups. For the Spartans, number three, Trinity Stouffer. Number six, Elise Robertson. Number seven, Brooke Christie. Number 10, Reagan Franzen. Number 11, Jillian Holst. Number 15, Braylon Tankersley. And the Spartans will not be playing with a, a libero. The Spartans are coached by Nicole Detlinger and Emma Elsner. And for your Red Hawks, number five, Carly Corder. Number nine, Grace Thorson. Number 10, Katie Capriva. Yeah. Number 13, Alexis Hansen. Yeah. Number 14, Isabel Sierra. Yeah. Number 15, Laney Willenbring. Yeah. And plain libero, number one, Tokoa Capriva. Yeah. The Red Hawks are coached by Channing Halstead and Carissa Cladavo. Tonight's officials are Kevin Cartier and Glenn Taylor. Please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. Welcome to North Tama and our Class 1A Regional 4 quarterfinal. My name's Keith Kennedy, and I'm here with Mr. Levi LaRue. Hello. And we are a little short on students tonight, so Levi is going to be manning the camera and talking, and I am going to be manning the scoreboard and talking, and we'll see if we can get this done. Tonight it's the Collins Maxwell Spartans against the North Tama Redhawks. 
this might sound familiar considering this was the last team that our Red Hawks played at home for senior night. Yep, worked out well. All of our settings were still the same. If you're watching this, you are watching a replay of this, an archive version, since we were unable to stream live. Uh, it's just a rule that the girls' union has right oh, now, and right. we'll be working on changing that. If I remember correctly from our coin toss here, I believe the Red Hawks will be serving. By the looks of it, probably Carly Gorder will be serving. Our libero, Takoa Capriva, ready to transition in. Oh, there she goes. So Carly will not be serving. <laughs> the winner of this match tonight will go on to the next match on Thursday night, Halloween, right here in the North Tama Gym. Takoa Capriva is back to serve for the Red Hawks. I got to learn names all over again here. <laughs> number six with that kill attempt. And there's number 15, and it's out. That is point Red Hawks. Robertson and Tankersley with those kill attempts. Nice service ace there by Tacoa. That is point Red Hawks. Robertson, Robertson with that kill attempt. Blocked there by the Spartans. Little pushover by Hansen. Robertson trying to kill again. Little tip over by Tankersley. Holster setter. Good save there by Laney Willenbring. Great save. Thought it was going to go out, but uh, Spartans grabbed it. Oh, little uh, little timing error there by Katie Capriva, and that will be point Spartans. Back to serve is Jillian House for the Spartans. Oh, Katie Capriva with the big kill there. We have substitution. Abby DeBoof going in for Laney Willenbring. Laney Willenbring. The freshman. We've got Grace Thorson back to serve. And that's a service error that was out. That would be. Point Collins Maxwell. Make sure. It's my first time actually on the score bug, so uh, <laughs> I'll be trying to keep this up. Oh, we have a uh, carry there by the Red Hawks, number 14, Isabel Sierra. Trying to save it, keep it in play, but that didn't work. Robertson back to serve. Katie Capriva with the kill. Robertson trying to dig that kill, but it's just too fast and bounces off of her. Capriva, number 10, back to serve. Oh. Two Red Hawks going up at the same time. It, it looked like it was Hanson and Sierra, and they just kind of miscommunicated there. We got number two, Calkins coming in for Collins Maxwell. And I missed the other number one. Number 12, it was Tori Bingfeng. Yep. Hansen with the kill. <laughs> Tipped off a Spartan there. I think it was number 11, Holst. Hansen comes out. 
And Dylan Rolfson goes in. Rolfson, one of our serving specialists for the Red Hawks. Stouffer with that kill attempt. Gorder with that hit, big hit, but it does go out. And it is 5-5 five, five, all tied up as I attempt to correct the score on here. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks, right, Keith? Well, when you got to talk and <laughs> yep. do this, it's a little <laughs> trickier. Set up for Abby DeVoe, who gets it over the net, and Spartans keep it alive. Oh, I don't know about that one. That one went over the antenna, but they let it go. Tip off the Spartans, and that's Point Red Hawks. It's a Trinity Stover for the Spartans. Tried saving it. Was successful the first time, but that second time just off her, off her fist and out of bounds. Kabooth coming out. Kuchera coming out. Laney Willenbring serving. Carly Gorder with the kill attempt. Spartans able to keep it alive. Carly sets it up to Grace Thorson. And kill. That's point Red Hawks. 7-5 Red Hawks. Franzen and Culkin back to uh, receive the serve here. We also have Robertson. Oh, a little communication error there with the Spartans. That was Tori Bingfeng hitting the ball right into the net for the Spartans. And uh, Jillian Holst in there also, which created a little confusion. Point Red Hawks. Sierra saving that one. Thorson with the off-speed hit. Bingfeng. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's in. Point Red Hawks. Was that Gorder on that hit? That was Gorder on that hit. Will and bring back to serve. Nice low serve. Sierra setting to Gorder. Oh, that one is out. That is point Collins Maxwell. That kind of curl around for Gorder. It takes a little bit of timing and a little bit of yeah. just kind of repetition, and she's not hitting it yet tonight. She's one for three so far on that one. Number three, Trinity Stover with the service error for the Spartans. That's point Red Hawks. Isabel Sierra back to serve. Good dig by Capriva there. Kill by Katie Capriva. Spartans unable to keep that one alive. She has a very powerful hit. It looked like it was tipped at the line and just yep. couldn't, couldn't uh, take advantage of that tip. Oh, a little off speed, uh, nice serve there uh, by Sierra and yeah. that's a point. I was like, Calkins tried to say that one but just couldn't do it in the timeout now by the Spartans. So we have 6 to 12. Uh, the Red Hawks are up with the 12. This is a, a rematch of a regular season match and uh, the Red Hawks were able to win that match. I believe it was, was it? It was 3-0. Three 3-0? Three nothing. Three nothing. Three nothing. Okay. yep.
All right, play resumes. Again, the Red Ox are up 12-6 over the Spartans. Isabel Sierra is still serving for the Red Ox. Kill attempt for number six and gets it just right over the net. That's Elise Robertson with that tip over, just over the Red Ox block. We have some Spartans changing here. We got number seven coming in, Brooke Christie. We have number three, Trinity Stover in the back. We've got a number 11, Jillian Holst is up front. Number six, Elise Robertson's up front. And Christie with the serve there, right to Takao Capriva. Set up for Katie. Is out on that one. Point goes to the Spartans. Christy back to serve. Little push over by Gorder there. Good save by Stover. Tankersley with the uh, hit over the middle and uh, the Red Hawks unable to save that one. That's point Spartans. 9-12, Red Hawks lead. Christy back to serve. Very similar serve there to, uh, whoa. Spartans keep it alive. Katie Capriva with the big kill there. Spartans try to keep it alive, but no good. Number three, Trinity Stover was the last one to try to keep that alive. And that's point Red Hawks. 13-9 Red Hawks. Takoa Capriva with the off-speed serve there. And number seven, Brooke Christie, unable to return that. Capriva favoring the left edge of the court in the back there for her serves. Seems like she's targeting Christie there. Yeah. So that was out. Uh, the ball hit the net, did not hit any of the Spartans, so that was out on the Red Hawks. Point Spartans. 14-10, Red Hawks. Capriva with a little bump over. Did, little timing was off. Big hit by Grace Thorson. Alexis Hansen with a big push. Spartans were able to, oh my, huge hit there by Katie Capriva. Number seven, Brooke Christie trying to dig that, but unable to keep the ball in play. That's 15-10, North Tama. She did not stand a chance against that no. one. I don't know how you could dig that at all. Tipped out of the line. I don't know how they're going to count that. I guess the first one was a block. Tankersley with the hit over the net. Oh. Sierra in the net uh, trying to save that one. Yep. Thorson was just a little too, too strong with that one to try to get it to the setter. Got uh, Caitlin Kuchera back into the game. To Booth with that pushover, and it looked like it tipped off number three, mm -hmm. Trinity Stover, mm -hmm. to go out of bounds. So that is point Red Hawks. 16 11 Red Hawks. Katie Capriva with the serve. To Booth with the kill attempt. Blocked at the line there. Franzen with the big hit, but can't get through the Red Hawks block. Point Red Hawks, 17-11. That was Alexis Hansen, number 13, and Isabel Sierra with the block at the, at the net. Katie Capriva with the serve, and off of number six, Elise Robertson to go into the crowd. Point Red Hawks, 18-11 Red Hawks.
Tankersley tries to get it over, but no, didn't work. Four hits on the Spartans, point Red Hawks. So it must have hit the net instead of being tipped at the line yep. there. Yep. Caprivo with the serve. Franzen with the hit over. Oh. Capriva trying to save that, but into the stands. A little miscommunication there between Caitlin Cachera and Katie Capriva. Calkins into the game and Beanfang back into the game for the Spartans. Calkins here serving for the Spartans. Into the net for a service error. Point Red Hawks. 2012 Red Hawks. Dylan Rolson back into the game, serving. Nice soft serve to the middle of the court. Spartans unable to uh, capitalize on that one, and that is point Red Hawks. 21-12 Red Hawks, Rolson serving. Little tip over there. Touch on the Spartans. Oh, nope. Cover the carries there. I uh, think. Yeah. Oh. I'm guessing DeBoof on the carry. That's uh, Spartans with a point 21 13 right now. Franzen back to serve for the Spartans. And she has a service error. 22-13, Red Hawks. DeBoof coming out. Willing Bring going in. Caitlin Kuchera coming out. And Grace Thorson back into the game for the Red Hawks. Willing Bring back for the serve. Oh, service error for the Red Hawks. Point Spartans. 22-14, Red Hawks. Trinity Stover back to serve. Good save by the Red Hawks there. They get it over the net. Capriva with a save dig there. Oh my, number 11, Jillian Holst with the tip over into the center court, and the Red Hawks were not ready for that. That's point Collins Maxwell. Just taking a page out of the Red Hawk book, doing a little kind of yep. uh, dink and dunk over. 22 15 Red Hawks, and service error for Stover. That's point Red Hawks. It is really hard to get any momentum going when they've had, I think, about four or five ser service errors in this. Yep. Uh, set alone. Isabel Sierra back to serve. Oh, and Regan Franzen unable to, to dig that serve, and uh, that is an ace for Sierra. Uh, Beanfang trying to hit that one over, but unable into the net, and that is 25-15 with North Tama taking the first game of this five-game match. So a lot of good things happening out there. A lot of a lot of good moves. Uh, the girls are uh, getting a lot of them at the net that don't even look like they're possible to hit, and the, and both teams are saving a few of them here and there. Um, the lo uh, the loser of this game will this will be the end of their season, and the winner will move on to the next bracket. Right now, I'm looking for the info on the next. There it is. On the next game, uh, right now, as we're playing, Montezuma and Linville Sully are playing at the Montezuma High School. 
Um, Montezuma with a six with a 19 and 16 record. Linville Sully with an 18 and 7 record. Um, North Tama is a 23 and 6 record, and Collins Maxwell 13 and 15 record. So the winner of North Tama and Collins Maxwell, the winner will go on uh, to the Thursday night game here at North Tama, and the winner of Montezuma and Linville Sully will also come here. And that will be Halloween night at 7 p.m. And if anyone remembers two years ago when the Red Hawks went to state, they actually played Montezuma here in the gym. Uh, Montezuma actually won the first two sets, only for North Tamer to win the next three. Wow. To then advance on to the uh, semi or to the actual finals um, yep. where they played in Nevada to go on to state that year. So Montezuma and North Tamer have a little bit of history, and I think that's who. North Tama thinks they are going to be playing should they advance tonight um, against Collins Colin, Colin Maxwell. Yep. So the Red Hawks again take the first game in this uh, best of five. Just about ready to start the second game. Teams are on the court. Officials are checking the lineups. Make sure rotation is correct. There's a lot of rules and a lot of procedures you have to follow in volleyball. Keep all this straight is a, a big <laughs> task. The Spartans will serve first. Number 11, Jillian Holst with the serve. She gets a good serve there. And uh, Red Hawks dig it right back up to the net, and they're unable to uh, set that. That's point Spartans. A little better dig that time, but uh, timing was off for Hanson. Mm -hmm. Another point for the Spartans. Holst back to serve. Katie Capriva with a big hit. Spartans Un unable to get it back over the net. Point Red Hawks. Give them an A for effort though. They, yep, they stuck it out. They tried. We got DeBoof coming into the game for Willenbring. Thorson back to serve. Robertson trying to with the kill, but can't get by the Red Hawks block. Goes over the block that time. Katie Capriva with a long push into the backcourt. Franzen with the kill attempt. And Hansen with the push right into the open spot of the Spartans court. 2-2 Red Hawks. Thorson back to serve. Low hard serve. Spartans get it back in, but they but they go over and out. Point Red Hawks. Three two Red Hawks. Dug by Christie. Tankers Lee with the kill attempt. DeBoof with a big hit and Holst unable to. Uh, Dig that one, and it falls on the Spartan side. Point Red Hawks, 4-2. Tankersley with the hit over. Set by Sierra. Bumped over by Hansen. And number six, Robertson, tips it over, and the Red Hawks unable to return it. 4-3, Red Hawks. Substitution. Caitlin Kuchera coming in for Grace Thorson for the Red Hawks. And Elise Robertson serving. 
Katie Caprivo with the off-speed hit to the center of the Spartans' court. They uh, weren't ready for that. It was a good try by Stover, but just couldn't get there in, in time. Nice placement by Capriva. Hansen with the big hit, but right into the block of Sierra and Hansen. Oh, it, it went out of bounds. It went out of bounds out off, the off the Red Hawk block, so that is point Spartans. Long serve by Tankersley, and that's Point Redhawk. Haven't really said Tankersley's name a whole lot yet tonight. She was actually a huge factor in the last game, had a lot of good kills and a lot of good uh, serves, but yep. has been kind of quiet tonight. And she comes out, and we have Beanfang up front. We have Holst up front. Sierra with the set. Gorder with the big hit into the Spartan block and basically the same exact thing that happened two plays earlier, but this time the reverse. North Tama with the point, 7-4. Ralston back to serve. Stover with the bump over and the booth pushes it over. Neither team can get a good set. Franzen with the hit, but the Red Hawks uh, were able to return it. Bin Fang hitting it over. Katie Capriva, touch, touch on the Spartans. Point Red Hawks. 8 4 Red Hawks. Rolfson back to serve for the Red Hawks. Oh, too many touches there by Bean mm -hmm. Fang. Point Red Hawks, 9 4. Dylan Rolfson back to serve. Holst trying to stop that one, but it was coming too fast. And then a little miscommunication there between Bing Fang and Stover. Both of them thought the other one was going to yep. pick it up, and neither did. Stover gets it over the net. Sierra to Gorder. Big hit, but they're able to dig it. Number 11, Holst. We're gonna try push over to Abby DeBooth, but she her timing was off that time, and uh, she hit it right into the net. That's a point for the Spartans. Yep. Just a little late for DeBooth there. 10-5, Red Hawks. Franson with that serve. DeBooth ah. with another. Oh, there's a touch on number two, Angela Calkins. That's point Red Hawks. Abby DeBooth redeeming herself there. Yep. Couple substitutions here. Grace Thorson coming back in. And Willenbring back to serve. Nice low fast serve by Willenbring. Sierra setting it to Thorson. Stover trying with the big hit, but can't get it over the net. That's uh, point Red Hawks. 12-5 Red Hawks. Laney Willenbring back to serve. Tip at the net. And Alexis Hansen just gets it over the net. Oh. Too many hits. Uh, uh, we or got a four and a carry. So I, I was going to say, I think the refs are calling both maybe there. Yeah. <laughs> Whichever, it really didn't matter, but that was point Red Hawks. 13-5 Red Hawks. And 
touch of the rafters there. Oh, oh, a couple touches in the backcourt by the Spartans and unable to get it back over the net. 14-5, Red Hawks. Timeout, Spartans. If you haven't yet, we'd really love that you go back out to our front page of our YouTube channel and click on that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. There's no commitment, no nothing. The nice thing is you'll get uh, notified whenever North Tama goes live on YouTube. Uh, this winter we'll be bringing you girls basketball, boys basketball, and wrestling. If we can get a thousand subscribers, we can do some other cool streaming uh, uh, things with YouTube, but we need a thousand subscribers. So tell your friends, tell your family to subscribe to the North Tama YouTube channel. I was gonna say we're about a quarter of the way there now. Yeah, which is pretty good for just starting in August, mm -hmm. I think. Getting a thousand subscribers is uh, not an easy task. Will and bring back to serve for the Red Hawks. 14-5 Red Hawks. Number three, Trinity Stover with that big hit into the Red Hawks uh, backcourt and uh, Katie Capriva unable to get the dig on that one. Stover back to serve. 14-6 Red Hawks. Will push over by Sierra, and she dumps it right into the middle uh, of all of the Spartans there. That is classic Sierra. I don't know if we can call it that, but she does that quite a bit for the Red Hawks, and it worked out that time for her. She's really got the nice movement that fakes out the other team. Hit by Robertson. Katie Capriva into the block. The Red Hawks able to Get it back over the net. Tacoa. And big hit by Katie Capriva right into the back corner of the Spartans. Court. 16 6 Red Hawks. Isabel Sierra back to serve. Right at the net, little tip contest going on there pushed over by Beanfang and Robertson with that hit Thorson pushes it into the backcourt Robertson with another hit double hit by Robertson and Beanfang I think did they call it four I missed the call I on missed that the call one. too. It was point Red Hawks, 17-6 Red Hawks. Sierra back to serve. Nice low fast one to the middle court for the Spartans. Ooh. Bean Fang hitting it out of bounds on the No, Red Hawks. they're are they calling it in? I thought the line judge called it know. in. Yes. Did they? Oh. I missed the call. Jess Schultz, our line judge over there, calling it in. Okay, well, we have some Spartans coming back into the game. Christy and Tankersley. Christy back to serve. That was point Colin, uh, Collins Maxwell, so it's 17 7. This is the second game. Red Hawks took the first game. We have uh, into the net. In the net by uh, Sierra. point Spartans Christy with the serve good powerful serve by Christy Katie Capriva with the hit to the backcourt Holst getting it over the net Capriva with a big hit they're not going to oh my they played it out of the rafters oh and they missed oh that my. That was a good attempt by the Spartans, Robertson and Tankersley trying to bump it over, but uh, trying to play it out of the rafters is always 
Always tough. It's like playing pinball. Yeah. Lexus Hansen back into the game. Takoa Capriva back to serve. With a nice little hit to the front row. Sierra to, ah, Katie Capriva. Touch on Stover makes it 19-8. Red Hawks. Capriva back to serve. A little off speed serve there. Robertson with the hit. Oh, I would have called Tankersley in the net there, but they didn't. Katie Capriva with a big hit. Good dig by Christie. Oh, nice dig by Capriva. A lot, of, a lot of good defense going on here. Yeah. And that little <laughs> dunk yeah. right into the middle of the court again by Sierra. She's pulled it out twice tonight, and it worked both times for her. When you have a volley that's going forever, that's you can assume that's going to come up at some point. It just changes up the pace a little bit and gets Ro the other team out of the rhythm. Robertson with uh, trying to get it over, but big block there by Katie Capriva. 21-8 Red Hawks. Takoa Capriva back to serve. Oh, no, and uh, the dig by Christie goes into the referee, and uh, that's point Red Hawks, 22-8. I, I think the rule is that the ref's out of bounds. Yeah, so. oh, yeah. <laughs> he cannot play. That's not going to happen. Tankersley with the hit. Capriva. Oh. oh. That was a, a tough one. Uh, the Red Hawks unable to return it to the Spartans. That's point Spartans. That was Sierra and Willen ring with the attempt. Pulse with a serve. Thorson with the bump over. Franzen with the push over. Katie Capriva, big hit to the middle of the Spartans court. Spartans was just that little bit of a lob over, and Red Hawks took advantage of the 20. easy bump set and spike. 23-9. Carly Gorder comes back into the game for Laney Willenbring. No, Actually, I'm sorry. It is number six, Shea Ewald, ah. a freshman, getting some time here in the postseason. It threw me off. Service error by Capriva. Gives the Spartans 10. Caitlin, no, Caitlin Kuchera back into the game. Number six, Elise Robertson serving. Sierra set to Capriva, and that's in. 24-10 mm -hmm. Red Hawks. This is game point for the Red Hawks. This, we are in game two. Red Hawks took game one. Capriva with the serve, middle of the court. Sierra trying to dunk it over there a little bit, but that one, they didn't take that one. Sierra to Hansen. And number 10, Franzen hits it over. There must have been a touch because the Spartans did get that one. I was going to say, I thought that there was a tip there at the line, but yep. and I think the ref saw it. Maybe the line judges did not that time. Dean Fang coming back into the game. Uh, Calkins coming. It's 24-11 Red Hawks. Game point, and that is the game. Goes to the Red Hawks. 25-11 Red Hawks. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button there. We gotta make that 25-11. And then we're going to give the second game here on our score bug to North Tama. And we're going to reset our scores back to zero. And go, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Okay. If you are watching this on Tuesday when this comes out, um, there are some other events going on this week for postseason action for the Red Hawks. 
Uh, the first one is on Thursday, Halloween. Like we've been saying, the Red Hawk volleyball team, if they win tonight, will be taking on the winner of Montezuma and Linville Sully. On Friday, we have our North Tama football team. They will be here at home for the postseason. First time in over 10 years that they'll have a postseason game at home. And they'll be playing Central Decatur from Leon, Iowa, south of Des Moines. Uh, Central Decatur is uh, the 16th seed in the bracket. They're 5-4. Five 5-4, and, four. Five and, four, and uh, it should be a good game because they ha have a really good passing offense. And so one of the best ones in uh, Class A. And I, I assume, I, I actually, I, I know that that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for the Red Hawks. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a, a good matchup for, for the Red Hawks. And if they win that one, then they have their second game at home as well the following Friday. And we do have something on Saturday. On Saturday in Fort Dodge, uh, Sam Snyder is going to be running in the state cross-country uh, meet. meet. Yep. Uh, he runs at 2.30 um, on the north side of Fort Dodge at the um, state park out there. I forget the name of it. Is it Harlan Williams? It's Kennedy, I think. Is it the Kennedy State Park? I, well, I don't – it could be Kennedy Golf Course. I'm not quite sure. I know it's Kennedy something. <laughs> uh, Sam qualified by yep. placing 10th place at the qualifying meet at uh, Cedar Falls. The top uh, 15 get to go on. We almost had a girl um, in the cross country make it. Jules Breckenridge got 16th. And so we're hoping that she can build upon that for next year. And then we'll, we'll see two people go on to cross country next year. Yeah, Jules had a great, great season. Mm -hmm. She excelled, uh, brought her time down every meet. And uh, at the beginning of the uh, last meet, uh, she she tripped and fell, and she I talked to her a little bit, and she thought that that trip right there was probably what cost her a place. Uh, Jules has also broken a lot of the girls' cross country records here at uh, North Tama since um, the Iowa High School Girls Athletic Union went to a different format for their cross country. Uh, went from I think just a little bit shorter of a route, if I'm not mistaken, and. So she has the school record now for the shortest time. Yeah, she shattered that time, I think, mm -hmm. by a full minute. Formerly uh, had our, the previous record was uh, Cody Hellman yep. her senior year. All right, we're about ready to go here for the third game of this uh, best of five match. Tacoa Capriva back to serve for the Red Hawks. Go. And the Spartans unable to get it back over the net. Couple good digs there, but uh, that's point Red Hawks. I thought Franzen had it over the net, but just did not work out for her there. Oh, number ten, Franzen with that. Uh, that is a carry. Pretty much just rolled off her fingers. Capriva's got a uh, great fast serve here. Ro Robertson with the uh, kill there to the back corner of the Red Hawks court. That's point Spartans, 2-1 Red Hawks. Holst with the serve. We've seen some good serves by the Spartans, and we've seen some service errors by the Spartans. Oh, Robertson with the uh, little push over the top of the Red Hawks block to get the point there. Willenbring with the uh, uh, dig attempt and just couldn't get there. That's a hard one. Pulse with that serve. <laughs> Katie Kuchera with that big kill. The only thing Holst could do there was protect herself oh. and Yep. I'm sorry, I, I miss about there. It's Katie Capriva, yes. not Kuchera. Too many K's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh they gonna they counted that. Tankersley with the hit, but the Red Hawks able to get it back over. 
There's a touch. Are they calling in the net? I don't know what they're calling there. <laughs> they're calling numbers and not giving us the what what actually happened. It's four two Red Hawks. Katie Caprivo with the big kill there. Five two Red Hawks. Grace Thorson back to serve. Uh, touch by the Spartans, number seven, Christy. And uh, can't play it off the backstop. <laughs> yeah, yeah the backboard. Backboard there, that's what I'm looking for. It seems like Thorson is targeting Christy now. That one was just a little soft, but still targeting Christy there. Another point, Red Hawk, 7-2. Hard to uh, get anything going when, you're, when your dig goes into the, your own net, your own side of the net. Thorson with the serve. Right at Christie again. <laughs> yep. She must know something. <laughs> Little miscommunication, I think, there on the Red Hawks. Katie Capriva trying to stretch and get that one, but that's a point for the Spartans. 7-3 Red Hawks. Robertson back to serve. Capriva with the big hit to the back corner of the Spartans court. Point Red Hawks. 8-3 Red Hawks. As we retrieve the ball from the lobby. Katie Capriva back to serve. Nice push over by DeBooth. Another push over by Holst. Katie. Wow, that was amazing. Playing it off the rafters was the Spartans, and uh, they get it back over. We had a Spartan in the net. Point Red Hawks. Trinity Stover was in the net. Priva back to serve into the net for her. That's a service error, and point Spartans. 9-4 Red Hawks. Substitution. Tori Beanfang coming back into the game. And Tankersley will serve out. Service here, Spartans, 10-4, Red Hawks. I think that's twice she served, and she served it out of bounds both times. Yeah, she's got a lot of power on that. She's just got to get it down into the court. Dylan Ralston back to serve for the Red Hawks. Stover with that hit over. To Booth. Into the block of Stover and falls into the Spartans for a point Red Hawks. Just that block in the net just kind of changed the trajectory and it caught all the Spartans off guard there. Shea Ewalt coming into the game. Ralston back to serve. Stouffer with the hit over. Gorder with the kill attempt. Off speed, but the Spartans get it. Back over the net. Ewalt with the hit. And Franzen with the hit. Oh, Ewalt with the kill attempt, but it's into the net. 11-5, Red Hawks. Ralston comes out. Hansen goes in. Hansen goes out. Capriva goes in. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a libero. Franzen with the serve. 
Ooh, a back set to Gorder, but it's right into the block and they just kind of tip it down really quick into the front. That's 6'11". Uh, 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 Spartans. Oh, is that, is that six? Uh, yeah. Okay. 11-6 Spartan. Set the Ewalt. She hits it into the net for the second time. That's 7-11 for the Spartans. Franzen back to serve. Priva with the dig over the net. Gorder with the blue push over. They get it that time. Hit out by number 12, Tori Beanfang. Trying to go over the top of the Red Hawks block. The Red Hawks have an awesome block and uh, you're either going to go into the block or you're going to go out of bounds. Coming back in for the Red Hawks is Willenbring for Ewald and Thorson for Kuchera. Service era, error for Willenbring. 8 12. North Tama still on top. Trinity Stover with the serve. Big block by the Red Hawks, but the uh, Spartans get it over. Gorder with a little pushover. And number 12, Tori Beanfang with the hit right down onto the Red Hawks front, front court there. Beanfang saw that kind of curl around by Gorder coming and yep. Was able to block it for the point. 12-9 Red Hawks. Trinity Stouffer serving. Gorder with the hit over, and it it was it was a miscommunication there by the Red Hawks, but it worked to their advantage as the Spartan threw the Spartans off. It, it looked like uh, Gorder was going to go back for her kind of curl around, and Sierra just thought she was going to hit it there. And yeah. It worked out for the Red Hawks. Sometimes you need a little luck on your side. Robertson with the hit. Hawkins Good with the hit. dig by Capriva. Carly Gorder with a hit, but uh, out of bounds. No touch. Point Spartans. 10-13. Red Hawks up by three. Brooke Christie back into the game for the Spartans. And Christy into the net. I think she's hit into the net a few times tonight. That's point Red Hawks. 14-10 Red Hawks. Red Hawks up two games to zero. Robertson getting it over for the Spartans. North Tama able to return. Tankersley trying to get something there, but no go. Katie Capriva with the big hit. Touched by the Spartans, point Red Hawks. It looked like Stower was just out of position just a little bit, and that ball went right by her. Tacoa Capriva back to serve. Robertson on that hit. Red Hawks struggling to get it back over, but they do. Tankersley maybe, nope. Robertson again and she gets it in there. 15-11. North Tama on top. Little activity by the North Tama student section. Sorry about that. I think they're, <laughs> ju I think they're just trying to tell us where the ball's at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Capriva a little off there and uh, it worked out to the Red Hawks' advantage. She did a little bump move there, and 
Spartans not ready for that. 16-11, North Tama. Shea Ewalt back into the game for North Tama. Oh, number, uh, I think it's six, Elise Robertson. Mm -hmm. Unable to hit that over the net. Grace Thorson back to serve. 17-11 for the Red Hawks. And that was out on the Red Hawks, so it's now 17-12. Caitlin Kuchera back into the game for the Red Hawks. And we get the ball back from the lobby one more time. We need, like, door guards. Mm -hmm. We should hire some kids to do that. <laughs> out. Point Red Hawks. 18-12. Katie Capriva back to serve. Push there by Robertson. Hansen with the big kill for the Red Hawks. 19 12 Red Hawks. Capriva back to serve. Just over the net. Tankersley tries to get it over. Nope. First problem, I think we had four hits. And second problem, can't hit the rafters and go over the net. So that is a point Spartans. 19-13, Red Hawks still up. Angela Calkins back to serve. Another, uh, the dig was good, but a little too close to the net mm -hmm. for uh, Isabel Sierra to to set up anything good, and uh, that is a point for the Spartans. 14-19, Red Hawks. Fifteen nineteen, Red Hawks are up. That was a point for the Spartans off a failed dig attempt by Kuchera and uh, Capriva. And we have a service error by Calkins. That gives uh, Red Hawks their 20th point of this game. Dylan Ralston back to serve. A little miscommunication on the Spartans there. Tori Beanfang trying to get it over the net, but not able to. Point Red Hawks. 21-15. Game is to 25. Holst gets it over the net. Gorder with a big hit and into the space. Right in between them. 22-15 Red Hawks. Dylan Rolson. Back to serve. Oh, light serve. Oh, Carly Gorder with a big hit. And uh, that Rolfson couldn't uh, couldn't field that one. It's 23-15 Red Hawks. Again, the Red Hawks have taken the first two games. This is the third game. The Red, Red Hawks win here. We are done, and the Red Hawks will move on. If the Spartans can come back to win, we will go into game number four. We've got a good crowd here tonight at the North Team at Gym. Postseason play for both schools. Collins Maxwell coming from about an hour and a half, they said, I think, or hour and 15, something mm -hmm. like that. They have, a, they have a good turnout for being that far away. 
and they are in the Iowa Star Conference, so we do see them in the volleyball and um, basketball, baseball. Yep. All those. Ralston back to serve. They were, go ahead. They were actually state champs in softball this year, going undefeated. Ralston with the service error. 23 16. Hansen back into the game for the Red Hawks. Reagan front, uh, Franson serving for the Spartans. Big hit by Gorder. Spartans evil to get that one. Oh, but they get it in between the block of the Red Hawks. Takoa Capriva is a little too far back to field that one in time, 23-17. Spartans, are, uh, Red Hawks are still up. Oh, we have uh, Isabel Sierra in the net mm -hmm. for the Red Hawks. Oops, one. Let's do that and fix that. 23-18, Red Hawks. The closest set of the night so far right now for the Spartans, trying to get back into this game. A little bump over by Gorder. Oh, into the block and... The Red Hawks unable to uh, get that one, and the Spartans get a point, 19. 23-19, Red Hawks. Spartans closing in. Katie Capriva with a big hit. Gorder with the big hit, and that time uh, the Spartans were unable to return it. 24-19 Red Hawks. Caitlin Kuchera coming out. Grace Thorson going in. Lenny Willenbring back to serve for the Red Hawks. Number three Stover with that hit into the Red Hawks block with the Red Hawks able to return it back over. Spartans get it back over. Gorder with a big hit into the backcourt of the Spartans. That is game point, 25-19. Red Hawks win tonight's match of the Class 1A Region 4 quarterfinal. And they will advance next Thursday night. This Thursday. This Thursday, well, next this one of the two. Whichever. Halloween night. Halloween <laughs> night. We will be back here at the North Tama Gym as the North Tama Red Hawks will take on the winner of Montezuma and Linville Sully. Yeah. Which wondering. they are playing right now. I don't know if we have a score update for them. I'm not sure where I would even find a score update for that. And by the time to this or watching this, you'll, you'll probably to, already know. You'll so. know. <laughs> yes. Yes. So once again, the Red Hawks take uh, the Spartans in three games and uh, advance. And uh, we will be back here again. And what this means is we will record uh, Thursday night's game because of the uh, girls state union rules. We will record Thursday's game and we will uh, post it on Friday night. Um, that's gonna be tricky. I'm going to see, have to see if we can do a scheduled post Friday night at 7 because we will also be live broadcasting yes. the North Team of football game at 7. So uh, that's going to be tight. We thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do that. It's only going to benefit us. It doesn't cost you anything. There's no commitment. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing how many people watch our uh Watch our broadcast. The kids love it. They love to see where everyone's coming from. And uh, we will see you on Thursday night. So long from Keith Kennedy and Levi LaRue. And uh, have a good one.